Why, hello there, my lammy little slayers, Radamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Call to the Lamb, episode 10. Heck it. All right, cop Paul, what to do? So we have some that are sort of starving. Uh, I guess... I can cook this time. I have a lot of stringy meat from killing spiders and the like. Might make a bit of a mess. What I'm trying to do is earn up for the farm station. which requires 10 refined wood. I have nine. And as soon as Madzi finishes up there, I'll have 10. Hey, Van, you want a necklace? There you go. A little nature's necklace for you. All right, farmer station time. So I think this is the improvement that you guys just voted on. It came sooner than you probably expected. So this will allow farmers to harvest crops for me. Big bonus. Big bonus. It would help if I actually had seeds, which I currently don't. But I can always um, sell some things, buy some seeds off the worm dude that's out in the out out there. So here you see blue punk rocker harvesting for me. I don't have a fertilizer uh, station, which would be another good one to get so that he could uh, automatically fertilize plots. I'm trying to do the uh, the people joining last. I think what I'll do is uh, just make regular old bed rolls because I, I eventually want to get the shared shelter and I don't want to have to spend for the upgraded tents in the meantime because they're expensive. But with the two new people being added right now, let's do it. Good luck in the raffle. Oh, all right, it's first one's Moxie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so you are gullible and again, sacrifice. You'll fit in. And you can help 10 farms. Escadia wants a feast. What do you guys think? Feast, use some bones, throw a feast or no? That's a yes. And now the raffle for Zephyr. Who was, uh... What is that? Uh, does not suffer from dissenters and uh, gains faith when falls ill. If you really want to min-max it, it is possible to, like, try to get the ones that gain faith when they fall ill by, like, eating something that's going to make them sick. Uh, but that means they're going to be laid up in the meantime unless you have a medic station so I usually don't try to gain faith that way because faith isn't loyalty faith is faith is 
is a barometer that goes up and down constantly. Loyalty is what levels them up. Loyalty matters a whole lot more in the grand scheme of things than faith, unless you're like about to hit a uh, uh, descent. I did lose one of my woodmill things, yeah, my lumberjack hut. Welcome. You can chop trees. So I'll get a new one. In fact, I might want another stone one too. about to be nighttime, so if we're going to do a feasting ritual, I should get to it. Yeah, faith isn't really all that important unless it's below 30, exactly. Loyalty is, is... Faith is easy to keep up, unless you're, like, screwing about badly. Whereas, uh... Actually, I'm going to do the feasting... Last. Let's do a doctrine. So we have sustenance, afterlife two, worship, work and work, uh, worship three, law and order two, possessions two, and sustenance three. So we're uh, we're a little bit past the halfway mark for the initial doctrines to get. Law and order just pushed up. Do it. So, which one? We have belief in original sin. Everyone is born guilty. So if I have to put someone in jail, um, there's less of a faith loss. Or belief in absolution, where as long as nobody's imprisoned, uh, every day, every morning, we gain faith, provided that the... Uh, Scaffolds are, are empty. The prison is empty. All right, absolution by a landslide. I'm not ready to do the brainwash just yet, but I will do the feast. The reason I'm not ready to do the brainwash is I probably need a medic tent before doing the brainwash because when it wears off, people get sick. And it's uh, probably to my benefit to have the medic tent first. So I need three more to unlock the next tier, so let's strategize. Zealous weapons for sure. They're really good caster blades. Because zealous weapons eventually leads to um, god godlike weapons, which are just like the highest damage ones. Really nice to have. But I am down to 55 bone. And unfortunately, uh, I didn't trigger it soon enough, so we lost a little bit of faith. <laughs> they skipped a day of sleep. Oops. And despite the fact that they were only in bed for like two seconds, uh, they broke their beds. Because they're jerks. Also, Scandia is now old and frail and only has a few days left. But is pleased that I had a feast, I guess in her elderly honor? I suppose. So it'd be good if, uh, I think what we need to do is, uh, to farm for some bone so that I can do an ascension and then resurrection for Escandia if we want to keep Escandia alive. Have them return to us. 
So new divine inspiration. And I was just espousing the benefits of having a healing bay. So let's do it. A healing bay to heal sick followers. For that, I need more refined wood. Well, maybe not. Or consecrated wood. Nope, still one more. Dang it. Get another hut breaking down. Like how my husband here is just like my farmer. Life on the prairie. go healing bay I'll put the healing bay right in front of the uh, temple one thing I've been sleeping on that I've really been meaning to roll out I just haven't had the, the gold is offering shrines offering shrines are probably the most powerful thing in the game I just I need to invest in them and I've been failing at that so let's uh, build as many as I can by selling off resources I don't need to afford it I'm gonna regret, regret selling some of this stuff. So I only need 12 mushrooms to run the brainwash. So I'll send the other, sell the others. And I'm out of wood. There's the healing, uh, the healing bay, so I can run the brainwash without having to suffer the consequences of everyone getting sick at the end. Or, I mean, they still get sick, but I can heal them uh, instantly for flowers instead of gradually from bed rest. What do you want me to work on next? If you want me to do the shroom thing, do the complete the quest. Number two will be doing the shrooms. And here's how the donations work. Periodically, your happy people will just offer you stuff. You're free. Get a whole lot of them, and you get a lot of free stuff. Crazy good. And they can offer things that are useful, like tuna fish for cooking, or wood, or coin, you know. It's a little random, but generally it's, it's helpful stuff. Also seems to me that uh, I need more farmer stations, because they're, ha they're having trouble keeping up with the uh, demand. That and I have 50 poo on me, which is just weird. Build decorations? Fine, whatever. High traffic areas have more donations? I haven't found that to be the case. Right, what decorations do I want to make? Maybe decorations out of stone. So I'll put some stone candles. In the back of the temple, where my buried go. Trying to be thematic. Um, 
Oops. Done talking to you. The brainwashing ritual is most useful uh, if you're about to do something that is going to suck for faith. Like, for instance, um, Demanding that everyone skip sleep for three days and work straight, like that kind of thing. Like that's when the, those kind of rituals are most effective, the brainwash that is. So what do you want me to do after brainwash is this poll. So if you want me to continue other side quests, vote for two, otherwise up, up to you. For now, thematically, I will have, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm American. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have the donation shrines be next to the healing station. It's the cost of healthcare. Ooh, and you guys uh, have a totem reward. Come on, wood. Or a follower. All right. I can dig it. Oh, Iskandia, it's like a twin. It's like out with the old, in with the new. It's kind of weird. Hello. Please spare me. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll be brainwashed. So they are cynical, harder to level up, naturally skeptic, so it hurts faith, but uh, they do heal fast. So raffle has started. That's dark. <laughs> For this game, that's not that dark. This murder and, and cannibalism is totally a thing. A little bit of like, hey, you're old and we're going to bury you out back of our temple is like kind of sweet. Congrats, sea turtle. And it looks like you guys want me to build improvements for the cult. So, oh, that's dark. You mean the healthcare, healthcare thing? Yeah, well, you know, it's, it's what we're about. Oh, they're giving me uh, minnows or salmon rather. So it's about to be nighttime. Let's go run that brainwash before it's too late. Although it wouldn't really matter if they're brainwashed, they're not going to care about being woken up in the middle of the night. Because, you know, brainwashing. And then we can go back to Sozo and uh, tell him that we, you know, used his shrooms for fun things. You mostly do brainwash with fasting? Yeah. I mean, this time around, I'm not pairing it with anything useful. Another good thing to brainwash is if you have a bunch of dead people in your crypt, you can exhume them and loot their corpses and no one's gonna care. I don't have anyone in my crypt. I literally don't even have anyone dead because I've been resurrecting everybody. But uh, that's another good way to brainwash if you wanna like reallocate the uh, the gifts that you, you've given out. So as you can see, there's the brainwash meter at the top. I'm also missing a bed because we added someone new. I don't even have the wood for that. Still don't have the wood for that. And it, you guys wanted an improvement, so I'm gonna have you vote on the improvement. Uh. 
What do I want from here? So Shrine Flame Bundle, if you're wondering what that is, it allows you to feed a pyre uh, next to your tabernacles and your shrine in order to have them pray faster. Uh, but I think I'm going to do Shared Shelter. Which is an unbreakable housing uh, that houses three at a time. It requires a lot of poop to build. And a lot of gold, but it's a good stretch. So, what to build next? So you guys voted for uh, improvement, so I could do a second outhouse. I could build a shared shelter. I could build a second farming station. To help out with the, uh, the load. I could build a fertilizer silo. Uh, more offering shrines. Have you voted on that? And I think what I'll do in the meantime is go on a crusade while I wait for uh, the resources, because I don't really have the resources to build anything right now. Get over here, butterfly. You notice know, the part of the center that has pathing? It's roughly to the southwest. Oh, right here? <laughs> I, I could I help you. Let me take a look at that. I missed those two spots. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but it wouldn't be a bad idea to put pathing around the temple now too. as I intend to keep the temple here. Oh. I got you, dude. All right. Uh, I am missing a bed. Oh, I don't even have enough wood for that, did I? Nope. Well, sorry, sea turtle. You're a little homeless. We'll solve that soon. I'm going on the crusade because I'm going to need wood, stone, uh, and bone. I'm going to need the bone for potentially for Ascandia's uh, death and ascension. Or resurrection. And this is the Hecate fight. So, defeat, Hecate, farm, bone, and build a shared shelter. I will not suffer the same fate as Lashi. Doubt it! Find me in my temple. You will join your kin in slaughter. So, at the end of this crusade is Hecate. A zealous axe. So this is a caster axe. Uh, collected fervor also uh, as to divine inspiration and maelstrom oh, I like maelstrom don't not super fond of the axe though because I don't really need divine inspiration I'm getting inspirations like mad oh hello flinky hello child I know you you're a friend of Ratau's I recognize that crown on your head Ratau told me all about you I'm on my way to find, uh, to visit him for a game of Knuckle Bones. So, there are three other people other than Ratau to find for games of Knuckle Bones, who are increasingly more difficult to beat, and you are allowed to wager more and more money against. And I've 
already been hit, so... This is peak performance. If you think the axe feels slow, just wait until you get the mace. I, the game doesn't give you maces early in the game, because, like, maces are really hard to use, because they attack so dang slow. Really strong if you can use them well, but I cannot use them well. Give me a dagger any day. Hero card. Yeah, I mean hammers, yeah. Alright, uh... Deals poison damage to enemy struck, or... Yeah, definitely that over the death door. And I get a free tarot card, because you guys voted on it. Which doubles the health when healing. Nice. Now, I also can make an offering to Planet to get even more cards. So I'll do that. Why not? And this one's special. So attack rate up. Yeah. Give me a 50% increased attack rate. Heck yeah. Well, now this axe is not so cumbersome. I'm swinging it like 50% faster. Get wrecked! And we are currently doing Bishops of the Old Faith. Haha, <laughs> I got them all! Booyah! Flonix Hair. Deal damage to all enemies based on the tarot cards that I have. Cool. That's actually pretty good against the boss. So, um, knowing that I have that, we have Mystery, Fight, Meet, Card, Relic, Fight. I'm gonna go with Mystery this time around. Even though there's double coin in this fight. Hmm. Hmm. It's hard to pass up double coin, though, because I am poor. I'll go. Stone and then double coin. I'm avoiding the follower just because I'm, uh, I already have one homeless dude. I don't need multiple homeless dudes. The double coin is always nice. And that's just, like, for this section of the crusade, by the way. Oops. Another tarot card. That works with the relic I have. 10% chance of getting spirit hearts when killing an enemy. Nice. That was a derp. Double derp. About to be a triple derp. Maximum derp would be me dying, which I've only died once so far this stream, and it wasn't my fault, I can actually say. It was like a game bug where I got poisoned and the poison wouldn't wear off, so there was no way of me not dying in that situation, which was super annoying. The one you serve, that monster we have put in chains, will not be satisfied until you have killed all four of us. Correct. You may have killed my brother Leshy, but you will not kill me. Incorrect. And you will not get close to the other bishops of the old faith. Also incorrect. We are far older and more powerful than dear brother Leshy was. Wow, speaking ill of the dead, heck it, jeez. Thank <laughs> you. 
a fifth card. For a diseased heart. I really don't like the cards that give you hearts, though. I'd rather have abilities. Even if sometimes I need the extra hearts. Well, there's another tarot card. Movement speed, yes. Uh, the offering is on cooldown. You can, I think, only do it once per crusade. Maybe sometimes twice, but it takes a while to recharge. Divine Blast or Point of Corruption? Corruption, I guess. I don't like either of them, but they are higher level than Maelstrom. Part of me regrets not just, like, keeping Maelstrom and recycling it. Rolling in to close the distance, I rolled into his stump. So, we're closing in on the boss. I should not use my relic to have it charged for the boss. Uh, but there is another relic being offered here, so we'll see what there's offered. Increase in size? Yeah, I don't want that. Increasing the size doesn't really do very much other than let you just, like, walk into stones and break them automatically without having to attack them. I don't think it actually affects your damage, as far as I can tell. So it's, like, a relic that just makes you a bigger target, uh, for the most part. Which is a big no-thanks. Yeah, you do get increased range, but because you just become a much bigger target, I just I don't like. That's one of my least favorites. What sword am I using now? The zealous one? Hmm. Yes. A bed collapsed, and Black Swamp is old. I don't think it's a move speed change modifier at all. The, uh, the size modifiers don't change your speed. It just looks like you walk slower because you're bigger, so your legs move less, even though you're moving at the same speed, whereas when you're smaller, your legs move faster. It's just an illusion. All right, hecky hecky. I'm coming. Finally, I've been looking forward to this. Hey, that makes two of us. Finally, I can agree with you. Make your peace, creature. You'll not be leaving this temple. Try to go for the no hit, but things are getting a little spicy here. Map's kind of filling up with. No, oh, I got it. Should have kept my mouth shut. I'm trying to charge my relic to. Oh, there we go. Go, relic, go!
Got you. Two bishops down. Trophy for killing them. At some point, I'll, like, bother to build the trophies, but they're expensive, so I haven't. And a flower arch. Very cute. I enjoyed watching you destroy Hecate. Her arrogance was always destined to be her undoing. Your merciless crusade against the old faith warms my cold, unbeating heart. And the shepherd shall make a way into the wilderness, rivers in the desert, and light in the dark. Hey, ZP, thank you for the reset. Look at all the followers. Now, I do have a bunch of followers that are now, like, elderly, so I gotta, uh, worry about that. Ascending them and whatnot. Thank you for tuning in to Call to the Lamb, which originally streamed live on Twitch as a marathon July 15th. If you have any questions for me, please let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming stream. If you would like to join my online gaming community on Discord, a link can be found in the description of this video or at rodamont.com as well. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel, and everybody that turned out to the streaming marathon. Hope to catch a next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow cultists, 